of St. Lucia's homecoming for double Olympic medalist Julian Alfred. An absolutely mind-blowing day. So today, the St. Lucia Tourism Authority officially signed Julian Alfred as their tourism ambassador. We're really looking forward to this partnership. Um, it's, it's going to add significant value to St. Lucia and to the portrayal of our country globally. You know, there's so many awards that we've won as a destination, and we're going to continue to work together to make sure that we take St. Lucia to another level um, using, you know, Julian. Now moving forward, Julian Alfred is going to wear the St. Lucia Tourism Authority sign on one side of her shirt as the Puma sign adorns the other side. It's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for St. Lucia and to be partner with Puma and Julian Alfred. I think that's the, Puma is the third largest brand in the world and Julian is the most trending athlete coming out of Paris. So St. Lucia as a destination, we are very privileged to have the partnership with Julian. And as the minister said, um, this partnership represents a lot for us as a destination. And we really make sure that we maximize and support Julian in whatever she do and bring back that awareness to St. Lucia as a destination. She was very quick to let people know that there were some rumors that said that she might be switching allegiance. I know sometime last year there was an April Fool's joke going around that I was going to represent another country, which is not true, I just want to clarify that. But um, I am a proud St. Lucian and it's always an honor representing St. Lucia on the global stage no matter where I go and I will never switch my allegiance ever. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> and just, I just want to say thank you all for your continuous support. And St. Lucia, I'll continue to represent you no matter where I go. And I love you all. Thank you. <laughs> Right, it's time now to head across to Ciceron, the home of Julian Alfred, catch up with a couple of people and of course the unveiling of the mural. To be honest, coming from the Ciceron community where Julian was born and raised, I feel very overwhelmed and proud to be a part of the community. I know that it's just the beginning of a lot of things to come. We more used to be playing football and she used to race with the footballers, so that's how you saw we more knew her. So. We are over, we don't even know what to say. So just say thank you to her. It's just a once a lifetime moment and it's worth being it. I was also really, really moved by Julian Alfred's speech when she spoke about her late physical education teacher that would have impacted her career and impacted her life. I wish you were here with us today. I really wish you were here with us today just to see how far I've come. A young Julian, he took on a playing field to race against the men in the community. But only ended up leaving with cuts and bruises and grass in my hair. I lost. I lost. I lost the race to the men and I cried all night. Though he is no longer with us today, I pray that his memories live on forever in our hearts and in our minds. Long live Mr. Stevens. Students here at the Ciceron Combined School will be receiving uh, Puma shoes where they can come to school and ensure that, you know, her brand ambassador Puma gives back to the school that she grew up in. I've been having goosebumps from the moment that I landed in St. Lucia and as I said, the celebrations, they continue fit for a queen.